so I like to use the aloe vera water. This helps to improve my hair growth. Every time. Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Crystal and today I have some useful tips that will help to maintain and grow your 4C hair. So if you're planning on to grow your hair to a healthier state, then this video is for you. But before we get into the video, I hope you guys remember to subscribe, turn on your notification bell. And if you have any question at the end of this video, please feel free to leave in the comment section or email it to my email address in the description down below. So let's get into the video. So um, at the moment, I have a notebook here of what I'm going to talk about. So I have about uh, seven, seven tips on how I care for my hair. So if you want to use my tips to grow your hair, then that's okay. The first thing on the list is aloe vera hair mask. So for the aloe vera hair mask, I use egg oil, any natural oil. It could be coconut, uh, castor oil, aloe vera, rosemary, etc. And the last is pear. And these are the three. In these are the four ingredients that you need if you have other ingredients that you like to apply to it that you feel comfortable doing then that's no problem that's what i use so after you have all of these four ingredients you go ahead and blend that apply it to your hair if you're going to blend the aloe vera with the skin on guys please strain it if you're going to take out the the jelly part from the aloe vera then all you have to do is just blend it and then apply it to your hair so the second on the list is wash day so ensure you have a product that you feel is good for your hair and stick to that product also don't wash your hair often depending on your hair type so for my hair i like to wash my hair about like two times a month uh, it all depends if I have a protective style. So if I have a protective style like mini braids or mini twists, I don't like to wash my hair until I'm deciding to take down that protective style. If I know that I don't have a protective style and I am going to have my hair loose like this for the entire month, then I decide that I maybe do my hair like a one wash day or a two wash day. I feel comfortable with that. You have a lot of person maybe do more than two wash days. Like every week it might be doing like like once a week they will just like wash their hair two times. But like for me, I like to wash my hair like at least two times a month. And if I have in protective style like mini twists, mini braids, or even extension cornrows, then I don't like to wash my hair until the day that the day that I decided to do the take down. The next on the list is moisturizing. So moisturizing ensure to check your hair to see if it's dry apply grease when necessary along with spritzing aloe vera water or normal water or even leave-in conditioner here i have my aloe vera water there's nothing wrong with spritzing your natural hair there's nothing wrong with adding water to your hair what this helps my hair to grow and i like using the aloe vera i don't like to use just the water alone it, it just be like when you're washing your hair so i like to use the aloe vera water this helps to improve my hair growth when i have in my protective style compared to when i never know of moisturizing in my hair before it goes a lot faster compared to when I never moisturize my hair at all. So it goes a lot, especially when you have in your protective styles. Yeah. So so if you want to boil your aloe vera, you can do that. So the aloe vera alone makes my hair look so thick and shiny. Even conditioner, I use leave-in conditioner uh, once recently. When I made a video of my one of my takedown videos of mini braids, and I use contour leave-in conditioner, and trust me, I never see reason 
for that leave-in conditioner it only helps to soften my hair so that I can work through my hair faster so I like to give my hair some water to moisturize my hair so it could be way easier because if you take all your hair dry you can have breakage so try to avoid taking down mini braids without moisturizing it the next tip is protective style I like to give my hair protective style to give my hair time to grow this help with less shredding of hair also ensure to carry your style for as long as you can carry it for and when taking down old protective style take it down safely by moisturizing your hair first if you are taking down your protective style without oiling uh, doing um, using leave-in conditioner or even water guys please stop because if you're going to expect for uh, if you're going to expect your hair to have a length and you're realizing that your hair is not reaching that length as fast as possible that means your hair is breaking and you need to stop if you take down your old protective style without moisturizing your hair your hair is going to break because all of that dryness with your comb or with your finger is going to break you need to moisturize your hair so that build up or you know that can soften out more so you can be able to work through your hair if you feel comfortable taking out it dry it's not my problem it's yours and it's okay okay but all i can say to you is that if you're doing that and your hair is still doing what it's doing like giving progress like growing and all that then when i'm taking down old mini braids i like to moisturize my hair with the aloe vera water or if i have leave-in conditioner i use it as well to take down my hair especially the part where the buildup is if you watch my previous video where I take where I took down my mini braid you will see that there is um build up in my braids and I have to use the water or the oil the coconut oil that I my DI coconut oil to soften the roots so I can be able to go through with that this is the next tip bonnet or head wrap sometimes i forget to put on my bonnet but just to inform you that it's very important to ensure your afro is secure if you don't just prepare to comb through knots and even see some shredding you need to take good care of your afros if you sleep without a bonnet or a head wrap you won't have your hair trashy and it's gonna be like there's a knot sometimes when you go to your bed I don't know but it may be happen to some people do you ever go to bed and you sleeping and your, your hands are like in your head and you know you don't know what's happening around you when you're sleeping right so that you're sleeping and your hand just rests on your hair you move prip, piece of your hair pops you could have like um there is a string to your pillowcase and your hair mingled with that you move and it all pops so you just have to be careful at night time guys you need to wrap down your hair if you don't have a head wrap guys I use this all the time and I know I'm not the only one who go through this. You can use pillowcase to wrap your head. You can use a shirt to wrap your head. You can use a scarf to wrap your head. Use those three things to wrap your hair if you don't have bonnets. The next tip on the list is the tangle. If I don't have a protective style, I like to detangle my hair and add big braids that way it be beneficial for me to create a easy style for any occasion you will spend less time and less shredding before i start this video i took out my braids because you know 
I want to make my video look cute, put down my braids, and as you can see, if I decided to go ahead and comb through my hair, it would be very, very easy for me. So I like to detangle. If I don't have anywhere to go for the entire day or for the week, I like to detangle my hair, braid that up, and, then, and that braid is going to stay in my head for that week until there is any, until there is something come up. So I have to get by, get ready, and take down my braids, style my hair, and go. So the last tip for the day, guys, is comb. Huh. Well, I have a couple combs here for my video that I will be featuring and I need to show you guys what I'm going to talk about so you can get a hang of it. For combs, make sure that your combs are not stripping or don't have anything spiked out. So when you're combing your hair, it's like going to cut it. So comb. Know briefly that you don't have a comb or hair accessories that will affect your hair loss for breakage. This is my favorite comb and when I purchased this comb the day after it started to strip for you that you can see the strips here so some here on my finger these are the strips so the strips move from the end coming down so it's not finished stripping as yet see also I have a comb so I have two combs the yellow and the blue this is like from high school days I have this comb uh, I think this was like three years ago I have this comb this is like from last year so I purchased this last year and this is like three years ago here you can see that when it made there is a spike at the top here so every time that I comb my hair I can feel my hair like it wrapped around it and it popped when it reached the end so just be careful and you can see how this teeth set i don't like using this comb at all so this have a spike as well as you can see it has a spike there up in the top here so just be careful so when you're going to purchase a comb guys just be prepared to check your comb to see if it have a spike on it if, there, if it's going to be stripping or any other thing that will cause your hair to break. So that is the last tip for today guys. I hope you enjoy this video and if you do enjoy this video, please remember to give this video a like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell. As I said in the first part of my video, if you have any question at all regarding to tip and how to maintain hair, etc., please leave it in the comment section or go to my email address in the link below and email me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and be safe.